In the last video, we looked at how to use the form wizard to create a form, and now I'd like to show you how to create a split form. And a split form um, is just a different way of looking at a form that can be helpful sometimes. So for this example, I have the customers table opened in my database, and I'm simply going to click the create tab again, just like I did to create a form using that form wizard. And once I click Create, instead of using the Form Wizard, I'm going to select More Forms, still in the Forms group though, and then I'm going to choose Split Form. And as you can see, I get a form, and I have my Form Layout tools here in the ribbon, but instead of that form um, design taking up the whole window, I have a split window here. So in the upper pane, I see my form, and in the lower pane, I still see my um, database, so or my table. So that's why this is called a split form. Now in my um, form here, Add existing fields is not turned on, but if it is, it will be highlighted in a reddish color and you'll see the fields list on the right. If you see that, you'll just want to click it one time to turn that off and that will give us some more screen space here. So in this split form, the upper pane allows you to display the fields of one record. So I can see my one record of... Um, customer number one here, and the lower pane still shows us that data sheet view of the first few records. And if we edit or sort or filter records here in the upper pane, the lower pane is automatically updated and vice versa. So let's take a look at how that works. In the upper pane, I'm going to click on MO for the state, and then I'm going to click back on my home tab, and I'm going to click the selection button in the sort and filter group and I'm going to tell it here that I want to um, filter out f records that do not equal MO. So you can see here that that changed what we see not only in the upper pane but in the lower pane as well. So they do work together. Whatever I do um, above affects what I see below and vice versa. So next, in this lower pane, just to show you that it does work both ways, I'm going to select um, Des Moines in the city field. And actually, I've already done this, so I'm going to change it back. So in this one, I'm going to select Dallas Center in the city field, and I'm going to change it back to Des Moines. And then when I click on any other record, that saves what I just did. And you can see that whatever I change here is going to automatically change what I see in the upper field as well. So it does work both ways. So now I'm going to click the record selector, which is here on the left, to select the whole Kristen Collins record. And I'm going to choose the delete button from my records group. And look, Access is telling me that I cannot delete this record. That is because um, related records to this one are in our sales table. This is one of the benefits of having relationships between tables and forms and queries in Access. Um, if I deleted that, then whatever I have in the sales table would become an orphan record. And we don't want that because then, you know, our data might be messed up and our integrity of our data would be lost. So Access is going to help us out by not letting us delete anything that has a relationship with another table. So that's a great thing about Access. So now I'm ready to close this out. So I'm just going to right click on the Customers Form tab and I'm going to select Close. And remember, Access is going to ask us whether or not we want to save changes. In this case, I'm going to say, yep, that's fine to save my changes. And I'm going to save it with that form name, Customers. And now I am done with creating a split form.